A what? Booty. You got booty head. Booty head. <laughs> I'm not a. I'm not a booty head. Booty ears. They carded you for Musimax? For my Musimax. Yeah. Man. I was like, I'll take that as a compliment. Yo, I'm reading Isaiah right now. Okay. And he's like prophesizing about like uh, Jerusalem and how they're like living in sin and guys are going to destroy them. Uh -huh. It's talking about how leaders are like leading them the wrong way and uh -huh. guys are going to punish them. And I was thinking about how like Donald Trump is about to be our president mm. and then Kanye in 2020. Well, see, here's my thing. Like, I don't know enough about. I told Nicole today. I, was like, I don't feel like I know enough. Um, so like, I saw that, and I was like, ooh. I was like, I could be reading this. Yeah. Um, because I just I don't know. Like, I've seen that. Like, I posted like a super creepy video today. It's like three little girls. I don't know when they go speak. I'm gonna sound real stupid right now, and y'all just embrace it. But <laughs> <laughs> you know when presidential candidates like go speak in different states and stuff. Yeah. And have like a I giant mean, a meeting a campaign. Whatever. You know what oh. I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't <laughs> oh, no. know. There were like three little girls, and they were singing like a creepy song. Bruh. I don't even. Have you seen the interview? My friend Nikki that posted it was like, this reminds me of the opening scene of the interview. Yeah. I've never seen it, but I was reading the comments and people were like, this is something you would see in like Korea or whatever. <laughs> I was like, yeah. uh. A little girl, she's like on the stage by herself, like an army of Japanese people and she's like singing death to America. We hate your guts and like Chinese. It's like weird. Like Good morning, Maverick fam. Meet Crystal. Hi. <laughs> this is Melissa's sister. She is the girl's nanny. And it's Friday morning, and she is staying <laughs> with the girls while we're in New York. So she's gonna like live at our house for a week. So she's gotta know. <laughs> she's gonna be okay though. It's gonna be got fine. This. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> so she's gotta learn how to be me. <laughs> how to drop the kids off. Ray's back there, all sports dayed out. I'll have to show you guys how cute she looks when we get out of the car. But, um, yeah, no clue what's gonna happen today. We have so much recording to do, it's ridiculous. It's gonna be an interesting weekend. I still haven't packed and laundry still oh not done. Yeah. <laughs> so I told you guys Ray has sports day. Turn around. <laughs> Whose jersey are you wearing? Uncle Trance. Uncle Trance. Got Williams on the back. He said, "Go Cougars." Yeah? No? No? Go Cougars? <laughs> no? We don't care. All right, give me a hug. <laughs> I love you. I'll see you later. Cougars. Okay. Have a good day. Bye, kitty pie. Huh? I'll see you on Monday. Actually, oh, oh yeah, just sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, Ray. you're out of school. Yeah, we get to play all day on Monday. <gasps> All day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Bye. Nice to meet you. Never fan. What do you do? How y'all living? So, another busy day. Yesterday wasn't as productive as I would have liked. Got some stuff done though. But today has to be productive. I just wrote out all the videos I got to get done before we leave on Sunday. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four. I know there's nine there. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 videos. Ninja, why? Why are you so many? 
I gotta do 40 videos. Um, technically, I could probably have a little bit less if I didn't have videos. I'm trying to get all the next week done. So when I come back on Friday, I don't feel overwhelmed. Uh, so technically, I could have them up to Thursday. Because you get back, I would get back late Thursday. So I could be Friday and I could like rush to get videos up. But I'm going to try not to. So, so yeah, we could technically subtract like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like 16 videos. But go big or go home. So, yeah, I got basically two days to make that happen. Let me know in the comment section if you think I can do it. I think I could do it. All right, what up, y'all? So I'm done editing Daily Dose, um, and I am about to cook um, some food for Miss Nicole, because she eats healthy like I do for the most part. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna make her um, that new dish that I made, that, uh, that, that caprice, like, creamy cheesy stuff that I did like last week or something. I'm gonna make her that. Um, so we really liked it. I know her, I know she'll like it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, Cause I don't know, Ray's got early release today. So I gotta get this done so I can pick her up. So yeah, let me focus. All right, got Ray home from school. Having lunch with my beauties. Lyric, what you got, Lyric? You got French fry fry? So yeah, eating lunch. But what kind of what the tablecloth? Kicking it, I still got laundry to do. And I still need to pack. I have to. No, you guys are gonna take a nap. And I'm gonna get it all done while you're asleep. And then when you wake up, when you wake up, we can play with tablets. Yeah, I wanna play a um, mini game. Okay, we can play the mini game. I'm gonna play my littlest pet shop. Littlest pet shop it is. What about you, Lyric? Me too, I'm gonna play Littlest. Ooh. Well, my littlest pet shop, you know how Littlest pet shop. All right, I'm gonna finish eating. All right, so just lay the girls down. And so far out of the 30 or 40 videos I told y'all I had to do, I've gotten three done. <laughs> so we got a long way to go. But um, there were some of my longer ones, like the mud, the auction block, that takes forever. So hopefully we can kind of start steamrolling some of these out, though. Where does the circle go? Yeah. Put the circle where it goes. Okay, take this one, put it right there. Take this one, boom, 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 boom. Bagpipes, go ahead, touch it. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, oh, snap. Cute little baby lyric. Lyric, how old are you? Yeah. <laughs> how old are you, lyric? Hmm? You wanna answer my question? You wanna ignore me? What's this? You say tablet? Who's that? No. Olaf. <laughs> so I have a cold and it sucks. <laughs> 
I'm not trying to be sick on my trip, so it's like 7.50, Mav streaming. I'm going to... <sighs> All right, sorry, my phone died. I'm sick, but I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna set my clock. I could take this medicine every four hours. Come Sunday at 2.30 when I'm getting on that plane, I'm not gonna be sick no more. Fluff this cold and everything it stands for. I'm enjoying my trip to NY. They keep fighting over one teeny little toy. They have a thousand toys in that room and they're fighting over a fake piece of watermelon. Ha ha ha, it's funny because we're black, whatever. They're fighting over a little piece of watermelon. I have to keep getting up and going in there. It's pissing me off. Ugh. All right, I'm tired, but I can't sleep. So I'm gonna try and rest and lay down, but I'm obviously not gonna keep vlogging while my face is infected with viral plague, so. Love you guys till the morning. Hey, so been grinding, knocking out a lot of videos, just finished streaming. But I got a little text from Amazon earlier. I think I got, a, I think I got another book in. I told you guys yesterday, I thought I got one on the counter. And I think it got delivered. Ninja, where is my dang book? I don't know, maybe it's in the mail. I'm supposed to have another another book sent in the mail that I'm excited about. But, yeah, got something cool that I thought I'd share it with y'all. Might help y'all. Little nugget, something that's kind of going on in my life. I like using examples of what I'm going through. It's easy to teach y'all stuff that way. But just the power of like experimenting. This is something I've kind of just been on lately. You know, just not, at first it was just in business, but just do it in life. Just experiment. Cause you never know, man. You never know what could pop and what could be, an, you know, just something that could be beneficial for you that you never even considered. So, you know, what is that? An experiment? You should always have some sort of experiment going on in, in your life. So, oh, one of my favorite quotes that was just shared with me at that last conference we went to. I forgot who, who it was from, but a mind full of conclusions has no room for expansion as big so it's like the person that thinks they know it all or it's like you just got your mind made up in all these different areas there's no room for you to grow so just uh, when you're always experimenting it keeps your mind open you know it keeps your mind open and it keeps i feel like it always sets you up for for more opportunities to flow in your life so what are examples uh, experiment. You could do experiments with like dieting or eating. You know, like hey, I would say the uh, like the vegan stuff was an experiment for us. Where we're gonna end up, we never know. I don't know we'll, how we'll be eating in ten years, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't gonna kill us. We liked some of it, some of the parts we didn't like, but it was a good experiment. Um. You know, so in business, try different ways, try different things with your marketing, try different ways of reaching out to mentors, um, socially try different things, experiment talking to girls that really aren't your type or that you thought you thought your type was this. Try experimenting this. You might find out you might like a different type of girl. You just never opened up to it. You know, Um one that we just did, uh, we just experienced, well, it was kind of, ex yeah, it was an experiment. Y'all know Juice was working on the social media. So we did a different thing with the social media. Instead of it just being at the bottom, it kind of moved. And I think it kind of failed, but we're trying different things. Some experiments will pay off like Blitz. Blitz was an experiment. I've never done like a walkthrough type game on this channel. But I was like, yo, because normally I would do that on the, on the Let's Play channel. Even though it's a sports game, it's not like competitive stuff. So I was like, I usually keep that over there. But I was like, let's experiment. We did it. Arguably one of the biggest series on the channel and, I, and a lot of people's favorite. So when you experiment, you try these different things. And when you find something that works, you double down on it. And you put more, well, there's re more resources into it, whether it's time or money. And when it fails, you kind of cut it short. If it doesn't work, it's like, oh, mm, 
if you meet resistance, you meet a lot of friction, that doesn't mean you don't persevere and try to get over small little humps, right? But if it just meets a lot of friction off the top, it's like, okay, cool, we dropped it. Or you can drop it. So the social media, we tried something new. It was an experiment, right? Um, it, it met a lot of friction. I was going through the comments, it met a lot of friction. So I was like, okay, people were like, eh, this is kind of annoying. Some people were real angry. I hate this video. I disliked it, you little hoe. They ain't say that, but you know, it's like, all right, it met friction. So then we could either drop it or we can adjust it. So we're gonna tweak it a little bit. And if we tweak it some more, and people still ain't really feeling it, and we tweak it some more, and people still ain't feeling it, but well, then we'll just drop it because it's like it's meeting too much friction. But people could have loved it, you know. And some people did, so it makes me think we're on the right path. It's like, all right, so we're gonna try making it a little smaller. Not have it moving as much. Have it come in a little bit less. And then we might have had the sweet spot. And then that could be something. Because a lot of channels don't do that. So that could be something new, right? That adds to the video. So we're experimenting. So just that would be a good question of the day. What is an area of your life where you can experiment? What's Or not an area of your life. What is one experiment that you could do? Um, and you could be as bold as you want to be with it. Maybe it's trying a new job, trying a new career field, trying um, a new sport. It just when you when you have a mind that's always, or you have an approach that's always about experimenting. You uh, you really set yourself up to be on the cutting edge of things. So some of you guys are YouTubers, you know. Hopefully that helps you. But you can use it in use it in everything, man. Use it a different way of doing your job. It might make you more productive. Some of you guys sleep late and get up late. Maybe experiment. See how you do going to bed early and waking up early. Some of y'all, you know, you might be a better night owl. So reverse it. So just, am I driving the point home? Just try it. Uh, just a little tidbit I have. We've been doing it for a while. But, you know. We just had we had we had like a mini failed experiment, and it was on my mind as I was going through comments and I hadn't vlogged. I was like, "Hey, let me vlog." Thought I'd share it with y'all. Hope that made sense. Question of the day: What's an experiment you can do? One o'clock, man. Did a little bit of editing. Got a decent amount of my videos done. Still probably got like twenty plus to do though. So I'm gonna get some sleep, wake up in the morning, get back on it. Love y'all. I feel like I haven't had one of these in forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Yeah, about to make me a croissant with jelly for like my before bed snack. One thirty-three. Definitely a lot earlier than normal for me, like preparing to go to sleep. So yeah, I'm about to eat these and then go to sleep. I read. Uh, I'll talk about that later, but yeah, shout out to the croissants. Dark, sorry. But uh, today I read Isaiah 20, 21 through 24. No, well, yeah, 21 through 24. <coughs> um, what I got from it is it's... It's Isaiah prophesizing about nations. He's telling them what God has told him to tell them. And pretty much they're all on the path of destruction. And in some of the nations he helped like win battles. He knocked down people's defenses so the so the weaker nation could take over the other nation. But then those nations turned to I w I don't want to say idols, but they didn't acknowledge God for what he did. So they kinda like so it's kind of like God did it, but they were like, "Ooh, yeah, we're the, we're the man. We did it. We 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 good. We grown. We got it." Uh. But it was really God who caused them to be able to do it. So <coughs> let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, I started this plan with Brianna, and I was like, "I think this should be a good book to read." And then I remember there's like. 70 books in Isaiah. I mean, 70 chapters in Isaiah. So she's already done with her book. I'm like, not even halfway through mine. But, um, 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. So. So yeah, and then uh. And then it talks about how God comes back to earth, and that uh, and that uh, if you're living in sin, by the time He comes back, if you haven't repented and at least attempted and tried to live in His way, then it's too late. Like you're gonna. You're gonna praise his name when he gets here, but he never knew you, so you're gonna burn. And I know you don't wanna burn, so love Jesus, read your Bible, pray, be like Jesus. Of course, you're not gonna be 100% like Jesus, but at least try. Walk in his ways, be dope. Um, let me see what else. I had this really nice verse I wanted to read, but I can't find it. Ooh. It was about uh, how God will how God will bless somebody else the way he was going to bless you if you weren't walking down the right path. So say God wanted to bless me with a million dollars. If I'm out there dancing with big booty hoes, um, drinking smoking, all that, if I'm out there doing that and God wants to bless me with a million dollars and he sees that I can't handle it or that I'm not worthy of it, he'll bless somebody else around me with a million dollars. Um, talks about, uh, where is it, man? Ah. All right, it's a mental note. I'm going to get it. In the next vlog I do, I'm going to read it to y'all. I'm going to find that verse and I'm going to read it because it was a good verse. But and then other than that, maybe I found it. Hold on. Oops, that's not even the right page. All right. But yeah, so I, I think I need like a message Bible or something because I have a... I have an NIV version of the Bible, and it can get kind of confusing sometimes because you know they talk in the thou, what the bleh. They got like that old Shakespeare language. So I heard like the Message Bible is like modern day language, how we talk now. So I'm looking at getting one of those so I can explain it better to y'all because it's like taking Shakespeare and turning it into English. So I hope I'm making some type of sense. But it's just, in my head, it all sounds perfect. Like, I feel like I could stand up and preach it. But when I try and talk it, it kind of don't go the way it sounds in my head. I'm going to find this verse, dang it. Hold on. I got it written down because like I text Brianna what we read and what um what I took from it the most. So I got it written down. I remember it. I'll get it to you guys tomorrow. But time for me to go to sleep. I'm up early. I can't sleep in this time. Yesterday's an extension. I didn't go to bed till 6 a.m. and I slept till 1. But no more. I gotta wake up early, get things done. Appreciate y'all watching with us until next time. First, God bless. You know, God bless. You know.